Hi everyone, it's Mac Day 5, it's Mac Day 5, it's Mac Day 5 and I really wanted to show you this, um, my t-shirt, it was made by my in-law and that's my younger sister, that's me. A lot of people think we're twins. <laughs> so let me bust your bubbles, we're not twins, but people are still not going to accept. So I was just going to put that out there anyways, you know. So um, what are we doing today on Make Day 5? It's day five. It's my journey. Like I always say, that you're going to be with me on this journey till the end. Uh, we're going to be. Okay, sorry about that. Welcome, Grandsa Linda, <laughs> for being on my live stream. So it's my motivation, exercise, and chit chat. Yes, I'm doing exercises and I'm actually people regular talks chit chat things that happen to us daily things that are happening to us that we can help ourselves so we don't get to fall in those things all the time you know I, I always say like I learned that an intelligent person gets to experience and then doesn't do while a wise person learns from an intelligent person how not to do that thing the same way so they don't fail so I'm pretending right now that I'm the intelligent person and learn from me so they don't make the mistakes I made. Sure, I made mistakes, lots and lots of them, before I got to realize that it was bad, you know. And so I had to change, there had to be a turnaround. And now I'm here talking about it to people. So normally I actually talk and we have different settings. On, on, on normal basis but this one is a new one like I'm doing exercise and then we're chit chatting so I was almost giving up today but our topic is not about giving up but I'm just trying to put something out there I was almost giving up today it took me a while to have to, you know and then I said you see the part of being accountable I normally don't put it out there that I'm about to go live or something for the put it out there but today I felt the urge to put it out there because I've been fighting within me to come on or not <laughs> but I'm like you really need to get this thing on with you need to get it done you know I said I was going to do like once a week but I kind of think like well if you have the chance to do it more than once a week why not you just never know you never know who might need that word that you're going to give out there and you just gotten into this stereotype and you're saying things like no i'm only going to do it on this particular day i'm going no but if your spirit if you're convinced if you have that urge that you should go ahead and do something just do it so while i was still fighting for some weird reason i put it online and i said i'll be on in a few minutes and i was like whoa how did i do that <laughs> Oh, my dad is on my live stream, is he? Okay, I didn't see that early. So I'm like, how did I get there? So when I got home, I was like, oh no, oh no. I just set myself up. That's being accountable because I don't want to fail my word for putting that out there. I had to be on this live stream. And yes, thank God I'm here. So um, we're getting on, we're getting on, we're getting to where I, I want to take us to. So I was actually coming to the gym on a normal basis. What I do, I told everyone that I was just going to be getting on the treadmill because I learned about the importance of steps. Yeah, you get a lot of that. Our gym is almost like in the street. So I actually got to the gym, the treadmill I said I was going to do, and then I do a little bit of lifts like my coach told me. So I do that after the treadmill. So on the treadmill, I can actually get to be talking to you. So we can actually get to be chatting. Strange enough, I was feeling as not to come to the gym today. You know what happened? I got here and the treadmill has a problem. It's just not gonna come on. And I'm like, okay, was this why I didn't feel like coming to the gym in the first place? And then I'm like, okay. Then that quote just struck me. When people 
when life gives you lemons or people shoot you with lemons or whatever it is make lemonade okay <laughs> don't get mad don't get irritated make lemonade and some really beautiful lemonade and package it and sell it out you know like that so i'm like okay i'm gonna do something so i'm now on the sports writing like the cycle the, the cycle one and that's what we're gonna be on today um why am i ranting? i'm just ranting right now because they're waiting for the topic that i put out there I'm saying this just to tell you that there are some times that you really don't feel like doing something. That's when you should do it. When you feel like you're not doing it, that's when you do it. Okay? So, I'm Linda for a chair to my live stream. Thank you for being on the live. I don't know what put us a high there today I'm quite closer which is a good thing as well I'm quite closer to my screen so I can see your names when you get on I can say hi to you I can read what you from your experiences like I said it's a chit chat motivation exercise and chit chat so it's day five are you ready <laughs> okay so let me get ready ready set go okay I'm here and we're gonna do 30 minutes as well. It's always 30 minutes, okay? Yeah, you're going to be hearing that sound a little bit. So, hope you can manage. Yep. And then, we're talking today about how long should a guy hurt after he has been turned down or after he has not been given any positive signal like the girl is saying, yes, I want us to be in a relationship. How long? What would you say? Okay. So, let me give a on where we're coming from because I said this is a trigger from Med Day 4. So if you've not watched it, you can get to my thread and you'll find it somewhere. I will put the link here as well though. So this is what we're talking about on Med Day 4. We're talking about a scenario where people prove hard to get and I said, to the best of my knowledge, I call that emotional distortion. Playing with people's emotions, that's what I call it. I call it playing with people's emotions. If you don't want your emotions to with, then you shouldn't be doing it to another person. So I said things like, if you're not interested in the guy totally and completely, tell him no politely and act no. Don't tell him you're acting yes. Stop confusing the poor guy, okay? Let's stop confusing the guys, okay? And we also said that if you really, really are interested, but you don't just want to say yes immediately because you want to get to know the guy a little bit, but I'll think about it. <laughs> That's a better option. Okay, so because we're asking, how long do you need to prove how to get? Let's just say yes. It's okay, you need to prove how to get. What if you're planning to put and the guy can retain some sort of rejection, that's what I call it, just for a week? How do you know the guy's resistance? Okay, so now it got us to this topic we're talking about today. How long should guys stay in that rejection before the next relationship? This was brought about because. Um, I've seen on social media before until I got into a relationship myself and uh, <laughs> I got out of it easily. I got out of the hurt. I was fine and though I didn't get into another relationship, I just didn't want to. It's not like if I had the opportunity to get into another so I just didn't want to get into a relationship. Then I realized, it dawned on me, that there are people who know exactly how. They know exactly how to get out of her easily or faster. So it depends on you. It's not like um, there's a stated time that someone... Okay. <laughs> I was given an opportunity to reconsider where my phone is. I don't know why the network is act acting up. 
So, as I was saying, I don't know why I ended, but let me just get it back to the point of how long the topic we're talking about today on men is how long should it take for a guy to in a relationship up until getting married? <laughs> Okay, why? Why are we talking about it today? Because, like I said, I've read through it. I've had a lot of friends who have come on, and that's Brands Carl White, Waiting GH. <laughs> How exercise can one do to get boobs? Uh, well, I don't know about that, but I'll find out from my coach and get back to you. And, uh, my very, very sweet friend and boss, Sir Clement Ako, is on today. Welcome on my live stream. It's Meg Day 5. It's Motivation, Exercise, and Chit Chat. So, uh, this particular exercise is kind of harder than the treadmill, I guess. <laughs> okay, so, um, I was saying that our topic for today is how does it get to be, like, what do you think should be the time frame that a guy should heal from hurt, right? Before getting into a new relationship, before even getting married, talking about marriage. So I was saying that originally, like every other girl, I believe that it had to be <laughs> maybe a year or more. I don't know why we have those things on our heads. In our heads you know maybe a year or more if the guy was serious if the guy was truly in love with me he could just move on like that <laughs> you know like that kind of thing where um, you're in love with this guy it, it, yeah you're in love with the guy and then you're proving hard to get so he moves on because he's the kind of guy who can really take resistance for For like forever, he has to move on with his life, especially who knows what he's ready to get there. So he's looking out for someone who is ready as well. And if you're not ready, what do you expect? He lets go. And if he gets the next person and it's one shot girl and she's ready, she's gone. You know, like that. So that's the reason why you're gonna see. Some guys might get off a relationship really, really soon, and then they get into another. Okay, so I'm really having a hard time fixing this. Okay. When it starts, we're going to hold on and then we're going to come back, okay? Okay, so I'm saying that just like me and many other girls, because I've seen people commenting people writing posts and saying things like, oh, the guy didn't love you. He loved you, he was fake. How could he just leave you? And it's just about, the, the, the most recent one was a, was a celebrity, I think, and the guy had left her for about four months, four freaking months, can you imagine? And the guy got engaged, and he was supposed to get married like some, a month, after, so that's supposed to be making it like five months that they said no to him. And that's what I'm saying. Quit the pretense. It makes no sense that you're pretending, like you're trying to prove hard to get. Seriously, who's feeling what you're feeling for you? These people who are saying do the hard to get thingy, did they do it in their own relationships? Sometimes you really don't know what people are doing, so the advice they give you might not be totally and completely true. So do what works for you, but I'm telling you that the truth is, if you're in love with a guy, the hard to get thing you should go with, I will think about it. I'll think about it as a better option, and truly think about it. And like I said, don't take forever to think about it. Yes, because not everybody has the time you think they should have to be waiting like for forever. Because truth be told, I'm a lady, but it's sad how a lot of us, we play games with guys. You have this guy waiting, you have the other guy waiting, you have the next guy waiting. It's sad. This generation needs 
serious help. So you can't be keeping people waiting and you expect that they're just going to wait for forever. And so I'm asking today, how long do you think a guy should heal according to you before he gets into a new relationship up until getting married? Because there's some guys that they know what they want and if they're coming to you, they might not even take up to three months and they're married. Yeah, because they know what they want. And I'm sure you ladies as well, you can attest to that. When you know what you want, you know what you want and you go for it. So why do you think guys too can do that? They're even more logical than us. <laughs> I know people are going to come for me today. Like seriously. So you hear girls saying things like, Oh no, that guy didn't love you. Just one year? He's already in another relationship, flaunting it all over the place until he's getting married? Oh no, he should have waited for you to get married first. Or he should have waited for you to grow old before he gets married. Please, we should snap out of it. It doesn't work like that. This should not continue in 2020. Please. <laughs> oh, I hope we left it in 2019, right? Please, let's, let's change. Let's step up our game in 2020. Ladies, please. So now I'm no saint. I've been there before. That's what I'm saying. I've been there before because I, I was like, if this person is in love with you, they're just going to wait for you. But for how long? For how long? And then it dawned on me that exactly the, the same way I feel, that's how some guys feel. Before, when I get hurt, it takes me almost like forever to get out of here because I just decided to stay in the pity party. But when you learn that in life, difficult things are going to happen, hard moments are going to come, you're going to get hurt sometimes, and you're going to learn from the hurt and all that, can easily get out of hurt. You get out of it faster. I can say that because I've been there. But when you decide to stay in the pity party, that's when it's going to take you like for forever. Statistics on the internet shows that before, it was actually a year. People take about a year to truly heal. But after a lot of research and trainings and ideas, they realized that it was drawing and narrowing down to about us. They realized that people could truly heal if they're serious and focused after six months. Why don't you think that it might have gone down to even like a month? <laughs> yeah, that's weird, right? It's possible. It's possible. So let's not get it twisted. That guy, the, the, the lady will be like, what? This guy? Look at him. And he's getting married. I've been there too. Paula Cleve, welcome to my live stream. I want to know your idea. We're talking about how long do you think a guy should take to heal before he gets into a new relationship? Because a lot of ladies are complaining and saying things like, well, the guy doesn't love you. That's why he's already in a new relationship. That's why he's already getting married. He didn't love you. He was a player. <laughs> he was a Valentino. Like, <laughs> he just came to have you. And since he couldn't get you, that's why he left. It's not true. Welcome to my live stream, my amazing friend and Thai student, I guess. And who else is coming on? I want to hear your views. I want to know what you think. Welcome Sir Shifungala on my live stream. We're talking about, it's Meg Day 5 actually. My exercise and chit chat journey. My journey where I'm doing exercises and then we're talking about things that happen in our everyday life. So, go and watch day 4. Watch day three, day two, and the one. Also watch the video about why I'm doing what I'm doing and why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. 
Okay, so we still have about 16 minutes. I love to hear your views. I love to know what you think. How long should a guy take to heal? And I'm here to say that it varies for different people. Before, it used to take me like forever because I didn't know, I didn't believe that I could truly heal as fast as possible. But today, I can assure you, it varies for different people. Some people, it could be a month if they're serious about getting over the hurt. Some people, it could be two months, three, yeah, some people it could be a year. So if you see that guy in his next relationship, and you were the one who made him go, because we do that a lot, you're treating the guy like a nobody, you're putting him in, you know, like your go-to person when the other ones have let you down, you know, it's, it's sad. Welcome to my live stream, La Porte Noir. <laughs> you know. Hey, what's your take about the topic? How long? How long should a guy take to heal before getting into a new relationship? And you can't confidently, you can't say it confidently and conclusively that this guy was just a player. We're not ruling out the fact that there are players out there. But that happens to a lot of people and then you just conclude that, oh no, this guy is a player, it's wrong. I would say it unapologetically, it's wrong. Welcome Don Ayodeji, if I pronounce that well. That's supposed to be my Nigerian brother, <laughs> right? Omolade. Welcome to my live stream. So yes, I want your views. Tell me what you think. Do you think it should take forever for a guy to heal before getting into a new relationship? Or you believe that he can as possible and he is totally healed from the pain, from the hurt? I say yes. Can it take maybe a month or two? Yes. Because the last relationship I was in, I got hurt. It didn't take me up to like two months to get it over with. Yeah, it didn't. I have my story on my Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, my journey out of depression. <laughs> that one was a hard one. It almost took me like forever to get off. I got to a point where I was suppressing the pain. I didn't want to let myself feel the pain. I didn't want to let myself feel the hurt. So I started getting depressed and all that. And when I came out of that, like I said, some tips I said there, is not only for people who are getting out of depression. You can use them for your everyday life. Love yourself, give yourself a treat. You know, do what you love, find your purpose. Find what you're passionate about and do it. It's not just for people who are coming out of depression. It's for people who are living their normal daily lives. Because when you're doing what you're passionate about, it's kind of easy. You don't need nobody, nobody to push you to do it. I don't really need nobody so much to get me talking. I love talking. It's what I do. Talking to encourage people to be the best of themselves. So yes, I'm talking about it today. It's Met Day 5. It's your favorite girl, Princess Clayton, Queen of Hearts and Smiles. <laughs> when I always say that, I laugh, right? Okay, so like I said, maybe we're gonna upgrade to Queen of Hearts and laughter. So they say here that um, I've done a five kilometer distance <laughs> as per this and uh, I have like 11 more minutes to go and what else? My speed is 20.9 RPM. 
Well, I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, exercise person. And my pulse is 123. Calories at 127. To those who are doctors or coaches out there, am I doing great? <laughs> okay. So it's make day five. It's my motivation exercise and chit chat journey. And I'm doing this with you. Thank you for being there. Thank you for encouraging me. Share the live stream so that many more people can join. I always would love to make people join before I start, but they would still watch it regardless, right? So we always have to start so we can keep to time. Yeah, this one is real exercise. I can feel my legs. <laughs> I can exercise, right? All like the treadmill that was like, oh yeah. You're just having a nice time and just taking steps. Okay, so he's coming again on the live stream. Thank you all for being there, coming to my live stream today. I'm grateful. We have nine more minutes to go. And like I say, you can also give us a subject you want us to talk about. We just take subjects that affect our daily life. And I've lost a lot of relationships because I was pretty hard to get. That's what we spoke about on day four. And I've also been so, so angry that some guys spoke to me and I was proving hard to get and they had to go on and move on with their lives and I was so mad. I kept telling myself, these guys were players, they were fake, they were just coming to get something from me and since they couldn't get it, they just left. Why could they not wait a little longer? How long is a little longer? <laughs> How long? If it was me who was being kept waiting like that, am I going to like it? No. There are times that ladies would just blow everything out of proportion just because maybe a guy took you on a date. He came late. I'm not saying it's allowed. You don't keep a lady waiting. But it happens beyond every, every of his control, like it's out of his control. And he comes maybe like 10 minutes late. And the guy is like, no, no, you're not a serious guy. Da, 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 da. And then, how do you expect him to get all excited that you're saying no and no and no to him and he should just stay there. It means you're not so serious, right? It's the same thing. So please, let's learn from my mistakes so that we don't do them again. And then we get to get better relationships. We get to be more serious. We get to say what we mean and do what we mean. We get to say, let our actions match our words. You should not be in love with a guy. Hello, Ever. Welcome to my live stream. My pretty friend who disappeared on me. You're welcome back. And uh, we should not be the kind of people who are saying, oh yeah, I love this guy, but I have to prove how to get. How long? I always ask. How long are you supposed to prove hard to get? Do you know the guy's resistance level? No. So too, you can't be sure, 100% sure, the guy really didn't get over you. To be told, the guy has a number of people that he looks out for. It's, a, it's not like, I'm not saying it's super, super a good thing. Guys will hardly um, lead you on so much if they don't like you and they don't want something with you. So most of the time, they have these people as friends, but they know that this is the person they really, really want. And so it's like they know that, okay, I'm thinking, they're logical. I'm just saying what I read from some place, which I noticed 
and they go like, okay, so these are my friends. This one is the one I really want to be with. That's what he's thinking. But if she says no, who could likely be the person that is like, almost like how amongst my friends? Because sometimes when guys are already settled down, they're already settled down. And amongst their friends, they're gonna pick the best and settle down with that one. <laughs> okay? Girls have it a different way, sort of, you know? So this guy comes to you, he has lots of friends that are girls, but out of all those girls, he has chosen you. And then he comes to you and you're proving hard to get. What do you expect him to do? So he tells himself, okay, um, she's not interested. So let me let go and let me refocus my energy on the next person who might be interested. And bam, he goes to the next person and that person is interested. The person is not ready to do the hard to get thingy. And then they get on and then you're like, this guy wasn't serious. How could he just come to me and I say no and then two months after or three months after, he's dating another girl. He wasn't serious. He was serious. You can't be sure. Like I said, I'm not disputing the fact that there are some fake guys out there. Yeah. But as much as there are fake guys, there are also real guys who are coming seriously. And they'll take you seriously if you say no. So if you love the guy and you really want to do the hard to get thing, which I don't advise though, that's me of you tell him you think about it and truly think about it and don't take forever to think about it <laughs> because you don't know how long he can wait okay so yes that's my own view on it I know a lot of people are not gonna like the view but hey it's my view I'm entitled to it and I'll always say on all my videos do what works for you, right? Do what works for you. That's the best thing ever. But sometimes when you get to people's walls or pages and you hear what they're saying, take all what they're saying with a pinch of salt. Like, think it through. Look at the pros and the cons. Take the things that you think are going to be beneficial to you and trash the ones that are not. That Princess Clinton said it. Doesn't make it perfect. Doesn't make it absolute. No. Princess Clinton is a human being. And Princess Clinton can make mistakes. Princess Clinton is a human being. And she can say things out of excitement. She can say things out of irritation. She can say things out of anything. And if you take it like that, for what it is, you might get into serious trouble, you know? So, I'd still advise, regardless of what I say here, go back, think about it, and then do what works for you. But in all you're doing, do it right. We have just about two minutes to go. It has been a beautiful moment on May Day 5 with all the hitches, all the difficulties, but we still made it. Yay! We still made it. Yay! We still made it. I'm glad you're a part of my live stream today. Get to share it. And I'll still love people to comment whenever you get to watch this video. Just comment and tell us the topics you want us to get on here to talk about. Um, like I said, men is some sort of a hot seat for me. And this is me putting myself out there. So if you have questions you want to ask me, like personal questions, <laughs> you want to ask me about who I am, what I do, why I love what I do, what triggers me, what pushes me to do the things I do, you can go ahead and ask me those questions and uh, I'll get to answer on 
the next live session. That's exactly what I do. So, it's been a beautiful time with you. I have like one minute, six seconds to go. I had a nice time. This one was really like sports sports. I'm sweating all over. Like, unlike on the treadmill, he was like, oh yeah, he just sort of relaxed. This one is really making me do real work. I love it though. So, it has been an awesome moment, 40 seconds, 39, 38. I always say I love you so, so very much, but God loves you way, way more. Let the questions roll in, okay? So share, share, share. If you believe what I said, then share this video, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> 10 seconds, 9 seconds, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Yay. Okay. So let's get the results on. That was a beautiful one there. See how I'm breathing? So fast. The last time I got off the treadmill, I wasn't exhausted like this. This one, I'm totally and completely exhausted. Thank you for being on my live stream today. Um, Said you bet you're late, but you can go start watching the video <laughs> from the beginning. Say, Abanda Gilbert, welcome. So let me say thank you to all who were on today. Thank you to my sister, Linda Forachia. Thank you to Brands Call White. And uh, thank you to Sir Clement Apo. We have Mbole Cleave. We have my Thai friend. I don't know who this is. Their names are in Thai. Thank you to Sir Shifungala. Not forgetting La Porte Noir. That's in French. <laughs> uh, Don Ayodeji was here. Eva Bromley was here. Abanda Gilbert was here. Thank you all for being on my live stream. I hope that the next one we're still going to be on. I don't have any subject handy right now. I could tell you about the subject for day five because, I, like I said, it was a trigger from day four. Day four, we're talking about how should people prove hard to get, and, and my response was no, no, don't do the hard to get thing because it's playing with people's emotions and it's wrong. And uh, today we spoke about how long should a guy, how long should a guy take to heal before getting to the next relationship. And I say it varies from persons to persons. So if you're proving tough to a guy and the guy decides to give up on you and then goes get into another relationship, maybe after three months or four months or five months, the, the, the most recent one that I saw was a celebrity who said, the guy had left her, it had been about four months and the guy was in the relationship and he was about getting married and she was so bitter. Why? You were in love with the guy, so why were you just wasting time? Like, why on earth would you do that? You know, you can't play with people's emotions like that and you expect them to just keep leaving it, leaving it, leaving it like that. It's wrong. And she was so bitter, she was so mad. I've had friends, I myself have complained to lots of people like, this guy wasn't real. How could he be talking to me today? And then by the time I'm noticing, it's like some three, four, five months and he's getting married. Are you kidding me right now? He was fake. He wasn't fake. He has just learned how to get out of hurt easily. Like I said before, when I got hurt, it could take me like years or months or really, really long time to get out of hurt, to, to really heal because I didn't even know how, I didn't even know the process to go get healed, how to go get healed. I didn't know that. So I would just stay in this pity party state and I just wanted people to keep pitying me. I just told my story to everybody who cared to listen and then they'll be like, oh sorry, don't worry, he's a bad guy, he's wicked, he's mean. That wasn't going to get me healed. Sometimes I suppressed the emotions. I didn't want to feel the pain. I was trying to prove to be a strong girl and everything. And I was hurting deeply until I got depressed. Yeah. So after that scenario, I learned how to heal. 
how to let myself feel the pain when I'm hurting. I should let myself feel the pain. I should accept. I should acknowledge the fact that I'm hurting. I should acknowledge the fact that this breakup, this relationship didn't work out. It didn't turn out well. And I have to move on. Life continues. That's when I realized that it's really true. These guys were not on serious people like I thought. Because at that time as well, if, just if, it's just that I didn't get into a relationship because I didn't want to get into one. If I decided to get into a relationship, then I would have gotten into a relationship two months after I broke up from a previous relationship. And a lot of people, even social media is definitely going to tell you somehow that you're not healed. You're probably just trying to prove a point. You know, you just want to prove a point to the guy or you just want to prove a point to the lady. It's not true. There are some people who truly heal. I truly healed after two months. I was feeling relieved. I was feeling like I felt when I healed from the past depressive state I was in. I knew I healed. I wasn't bearing any grudges. I didn't feel like I wanted to maybe kill the guy, you know, like those feelings that you get. I didn't feel like I wanted to kill the guy. So I knew I was healed. I knew I was totally and completely healed. That was just two months after the relationship. Meanwhile, the previous relationships, it took me like a year, some two, three years before I got over it. But this one took me just two months because I'd learned how to feel the pain, feel the hurt and heal and move on. Look to the bigger picture. Don't stay in your pity state. Come out of it, cry, mourn, do everything you want to do, yes, but get out of it. So I learned that. So you don't expect me to take years to get over a hurt, to get over a heartbreak, whatever it's called, whatever you call it in your own area, whatever name you give to it. Welcome to my live stream, Sarah Rabbi Rabbi Doctor. <laughs> That's my really amazing friend. And so, like I said, I'm not ruling out the fact that they are players out there, but not every guy who gets off a relationship and then just shortly after he's in a new relationship means he's fake. No, that's not true. Hello, Sarivera Awasu. Welcome to my live stream. So we are about getting off. I'm done with my exercise for today. I need to do my lips, you know, and then uh, it's going to be a next time. And like I say always, you can put up the topic you want us to talk about, but on a normal basis, it's just going to be things that are happening around that I'm talking about. I'll talk about some other topics that I've spoken about before and they're on my YouTube channel, but I'm going to be talking about them on Facebook right now because you just never know. Someone might not be able to scroll through my YouTube channel or something like that, but they'll want to get a piece of that message so while we're on the live stream it's going to be a better option for them to get to get that message i just love seeing people be their best version i just love seeing people transform i just love seeing people develop personally because self-development brings about social positive change and that's all what i'm about i believe that's what i was born to do to make people develop, believe in themselves and bring about social positive change to the society. That's what we want. If everybody is the best version of themselves, the world is going to be an amazing place, I can assure you. If just the few people that are around me are the better versions of themselves, the best versions of themselves already, and life is like this, is this beautiful, is this amazing, then you can imagine if the whole world gets to that level where everybody is just being their best version everybody is just competing with their next best how beautiful will the world be it's truly gonna be heaven on earth just like heaven 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 on earth okay i gotta go now i can keep talking and talking and talking but we're done for today okay so i love you all so very much um for those of you who just joined at the end, oh, mommy won't come. She came to my life. Welcome, mommy. And then uh, you can go back and watch from the beginning, and then you're going to hear our topic. Send us topics to talk about. Ask me questions that you want me to answer, like things you want to know about me. Uh, why is 
princess so smallish <laughs> why is princess having dreads you want to know um keeping dreads is it expensive or cheap you know because a lot of people are like no dreads is expensive they have these things in their heads you know so what would you want me to talk about in the next live show i don't know when that will be so uh, like i said we're still working out choosing the days that we're going to be coming on but I was so sure I could tell you without any doubt that I would do it once a week, but it might get to be two, twice a week. We're still working on that. So when we're set and settled, we'll tell you the exact days. Okay?